Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then my name is Stuart and I am a practicing psychotherapist from the UK. I specialize in working with people who have experienced trauma, but over the years I've worked with a whole range of difficulties that people have. My channel offers two types of content. There's music video reactions where I try and open up discussions about mental health. It makes it more accessible for people. And the other part, are actual specific videos to help people who might be struggling. 30 days for the channel yet, it takes a lot of time and resources, uh, especially whilst I'm also working full time, but I'm hoping this grows into something that can really, really help people. So thanks for any support that you can give me. So what do we have today? You can probably tell by the thumbnail that we have Righteous by Juice World. I've loads of Juice World tracks I will be doing. I have a massive list from all the comments that I've collated and I'll be working through all of them. I've also started the NF journey too, so there will be a sprinkle of NF uh, in my channel, uh, some more Ren, and maybe some other stuff as I come across it, but there's definitely gonna be a lot more Juice World. So let's just get into this. I will, I will. Oh, it sounds so sad. I will. You can hear pain just there at the beginning. Give me goosebumps. Yeah. Uh. I like Gucci suit, I'm feeling righteous. Yeah. I know that the truth is hard to digest. Yeah. Five or six pills in my right hand. Yeah. Cody running over on my nightstand. Taking medicine to fix all of the damage. My anxiety. So he's telling a story again about his relationship with drugs. And if you weren't really paying attention to what he's actually saying, you could think he was talking about them uh, in like a cool way, because they mentioned so much. And a lot of the youngsters I work with, so the 13, 14, 15 year olds, all think it's really cool to do things like drop into a, a K-hole and have no idea what they're doing and be left by their friends stranded in a field alone and completely vulnerable. And let's face it, a lot of music these days does glorify this type of behavior. But they should listen to this. They should listen to what Juice is saying and the real pain behind his words. He's saying he's taking his medicine to try and fix things because his anxiety is the size of a planet. And it's really easy to get caught in this cycle of high anxiety, do something to bring that anxiety down, like take medicine. And then next time you're anxious, the brain goes, remember what we did last time to bring that anxiety down? We took that stuff. And then... You know, you do the same thing again because that's what works. And the more you do this, the more those neural pathways in the brain strengthen, thanks to neuroplasticity. And the more there is the drive to continue doing that behavior, even when you can see the risks and even when you can see the impact it's having on things like relationships. But the brain doesn't think that way. It doesn't think long term. It doesn't think about the risks and the relationships. What it thinks about, what it's bothered about is short term solutions. Get rid of that anxiety right now in any way that you can, no matter the long-term cost. And that's hard, that's a hard cycle to break. Oh, I might play. Damage, my anxiety the size of a planet. Holes in my skull. Over time, my heart's over. Just listen to that bit again. Eyes deceiving, we may die this evening. Coughing, wheezing, bleeding. Hi, I'm Over ice and freezing. Someone's going to have to help me out with that bit, what that means. To catch beautiful eyes deceiving. What's that? That's an interesting line. Almost as if others can't be trusted. Someone might, like, might look beautiful to you, but is that a mask? You know, can they really be trusted? I'm not sure the context around that. Has he been let down by someone close to him before? Is this a relationship that's broken down at some point? Let me know in the comments if, if you know. I'd be really interested to, to have a bit more 
uh, kind of context and background to this, especially for, for future videos. Kisses, as my daughter would say. Run right through the flames, let's go. Oh, a lot happened there. He's talking about being anxious. He's talking about knowing what he's doing might end him and he might end up in hell, although he's never seen one so cold. And I'm not sure what he means by that. Or oh, I can't make sense of it right now. But somehow, hell is so cold that he's going to run straight through the flames and make it out. Is that because he really doesn't want to be down there? But he knows that's where he might end up? And I'm sure in Burn he talked about this, this, this a lot. Never seems to be about heaven though. Why does he think he's going that way? Help me out again. Let me know in the comments. I feel like there's so much more I need to know about what was going on in Juice World's world kind of during this time. Run right through the flames, let's go. I like Gucci, so I'm feeling righteous. Yeah, I know that the truth is hard to digest. Oh, it wasn't that yeah. a tattoo Five or six pills in my right hand. Yeah, Cody running over on my nightstand. Taking medicine to fix all of the damage. My anxiety, the size of a planet. Holes in my skull. Over time, my heart's over. this video look how much joy he brought to a lot of people look at the size of those crowds and he well from someone observing him he looks like he's having so much fun and it looks as if he had people close to him who he could perhaps find comfort in but yet we know he was in so much pain but why what was causing him the pain my mind turns to my high rem reaction and that pressure our internal voice can give us to do the best we can and i don't know much about how juice handled fame if he even wanted this much fame, you know, a bit like uh, Kurt Cobain, because that can be really stressful, you know, everyone watching, commenting stuff about you all the time, critiquing you. And I don't know what his relationships was like with his record company, you know, how much freedom he had to create what he wanted to, as that must be quite frustrating as an artist too. And I think as I get more involved with these Juice World reactions, I'll get to know more about this through talking to the people in the comments. But there was something, he was experiencing anxiety over something or anxiety or, or low mood or depression, you know, and, and a mixture of the two, because they, they very often go hand in hand. But I, I'd just love to know what, if, if anyone knows, what was he really struggling with? You know, what aspect of his life? Please, please, please let me know in the comments. That will give so much more information for me, kind of, to, to think about later on. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I feel like I'm talking too much. Amen. on that line uh inhale exhale i can't breathe you know that's a very common sign of anxiety the body is entering fight or flight mode because of a perceived threat and that threat doesn't have to be something tangible it can be started by even a thought in our head and the body goes into fight or flight to deal with the threat and as part of that the body the body's physical response is to flood muscles with oxygen so they can work as best as they can to either fight something or to run away and escape and to flood the muscles with oxygen, your heart rate increases to get more oxygen to those muscles. And in order for there to be enough oxygen in the system, breathing increases to get more in. So it can feel like you're gasping sometimes trying to get all of that air in. And if you aren't used to that or understand why it's happening, it can really freak you out. And guess what? If you're freaked out, you feel more anxious, so the cycle continues. And that's really scary. So you turn to other ways to try and manage that, to bring that that anxious state down because it's horrible you know it's really really uncomfortable and frightening 
And I mean, I think it's pretty clear the things that that juice turn to to try and bring that anxiety down. And as I said earlier, once you found a method that works for you, then it's really common to keep returning to that method because it works. And that's a hard, again, a hard cycle to break. Have a thrill, have a relapse. I'm guessing he's tried to stop before. You know, and devil in my head running laps. It's that devil hell connection again. It's a strong theme. What is that about? Let, let, let me know if you know. Let me know if you know why the theme about him going to hell is coming up. Um, so often it's come up a few times in this track. It's, it's a part of burn. What's going on? So I'm feeling righteous. I know that the truth is hard to digest. Five or six pills in my right hand. Cody running over on my nightstand. Taking medicine to fix all of the damage. My anxiety the size of a planet. Holes in my skull. Over time, my heart's over. That last line, I will sing, it's chilling. It's like he's saying that this is the one thing he's got, I will sing. It feels like he often refers to himself as being damaged in some way, but he's really not. Now I find it, I find it difficult to hear another human being talk like that. I feel a lot of uh, compassion for him. So compassion meaning being sensitive to the suffering of others or another person, but compassion takes that one stage further and means that you want to try and get rid of that suffering too. And I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to do that. It sounds more like he's got into a really bad cycle of managing things and he can't break out of it. And I don't know anything about whether he's tried rehab or tried anything else to try to find other ways to cope. But there are other ways out there. And yes, it's really, really, really difficult. But if you are connecting with this song and you too feel hopeless, then please reach out. Please, please do. Please just take that first step. That is quite often the hardest step to take. So I'm loving this, this Juice World journey I'm on. I hope you're staying with me whilst I continue through this. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.